The key motive for me in writing Undeniable was a recognition that we now have very clear, very convincing technical arguments that show that life is designed, but most people are not going to be able to follow arguments in technical detail. Most people aren't going to read technical science articles. So it was the idea that there ought to be a way to explain the basic reasoning behind the design intuition in a way that um, doesn't require technical understanding, that, that everyone could follow this argument. That was the motivation for uh, writing Undeniable. One of my daughters came up with the title Undeniable, and I thought, that's nice, that's a one-word title. And then I found, <clears throat> doing a web search, that Bill Nye has a book called Undeniable. And at that point, I thought, well, I can't use that because Bill Nye has used it. But then we thought further about it, and I thought, actually, it'd be nice to invite the comparison between Nye's Undeniable and my Undeniable. And so I do invite the comparison. Um, with all due respect to Bill Nye, I think I have put a lot of time into actually doing scientific research on the question of does evolution work, and I don't think Bill has. So I'm really giving my take on this from a first-hand uh, experience perspective, but not requiring the reader to follow technical science arguments. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pitch the argument in a way that everyone can follow, but it is benefiting from the fact that I've done scientific work on this for 25 years. With Undeniable, I would like to get an argument in people's hands and minds that enables a lot more people to get this, to understand that evolution cannot work the way it is claimed, to understand and see through the problems with the textbook arguments, and to have some confidence in their basic intuition that life is designed, and to be able to defend that intuition. Ultimately, what I think is undeniable is this intuition that we have from an early age. We look at a butterfly, we look at living things and we think this must have been made by a godlike designer. We do end up trying to, de to deny that many times, often, as we get educated, we're told, no, it looks like it was designed, but in fact it wasn't. We learn about Darwin's theory of evolution. And often we come through our college education and we think, that was silly of me to think that butterflies were designed. Now I know better. In the end, though, I think that initial intuition is correct, and I also think we never fully get over it. We have to, as biologists, um, we, we, we retain this notion that things were designed, and we're having to constantly work against it to have a Darwinian view. In the end, it doesn't work. So what's undeniable is that intuition that we started with. Life is designed. That's undeniable. <laughs>